Hi. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, more updates on CES 2022, Smart Living. Sleep Number's new Climate 360 Smart Bed is the world's most advanced smart bed technology, delivering comfort without compromise. It created a personalized microclimate that balances temperature and optimizes the body's natural sleep cycles to intelligently analyze and physically respond to all aspects of sleep health and well-being. Through an evaporative cooling process, Climate 360 provides up to 12 degrees of cooling and can warm your bed up to 100 degrees, decreasing the number of times a person wakes up throughout the night. News Source, CES, CES 2022, Humanoid Robots at CES Two humanoid robots stood out among the spectators, the Tmusk, Pediaroidr robot, which is designed for medical training of healthcare workers and pediatric industry. It's a lifelike, child-sized female doll writhing and crying as slightly shocked onlookers watched as its eyes went white. The company intended to create a realistic scenario, which is why they added some of the scary noises, so it will behave like a real child. The other robot falls on the opposite spectrum, a mecha, made by Britain-based engineer Darts, chatted the curious crowd and made a series of stunningly person-like gestures. The robot was incredibly lifelike but not completely being that it was head-to-toe silver. That was the point though, to make a mecha-humanesque but not completely so that people would stay aware and wary of it at the same time. News Source, CNA, MIT Artificial Intelligence Tech can generate 3D holograms in real time. A new method could make holograms for virtual reality, 3D printing, and more. You can even run it on a smartphone. They use deep learning to accelerate computer-generated holography, allowing for real-time hologram generation. The team designed a convolutional neural network, a processing technique that uses a chain of trainable tensors to roughly mimic how humans process visual information. Training a neural network typically requires a large, high-quality dataset, which didn't previously exist for 3D holograms. The work was supported, in part, by Sony. This real-time 3D holography would enhance a slew of systems, from VR to 3D printing. News source, Big Think, Google is hiring employees to build software for future augmented reality products, according to new job listings. The company hired former Meta-slash-Oculus VR manager Mark Lukowski to lead an augmented reality OS team as it seeks to ramp up its R ambitions. The team will develop the software components for controlling the hardware on R products. Other postings note that Google is working on an innovative R device but did not describe its plans further. News source, 9to5Google, 3D printed suicide pods become legal in Switzerland to offer peaceful death. The Sarco capsule, a coffin-like device, will be ready for operation in Switzerland by 2022, said Dr. Philip Nitschk, who is behind the prototype and based in the Netherlands. Once activated, The capsule floods its interior with nitrogen and rapidly reduces oxygen, causing the person to lose consciousness and, ultimately, die without choking or panicking. In Switzerland, the use of 3D printed suicide capsules has passed the legal review and can now move forward. News source, TRT World, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, Check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.